You just pounce right on top of him and continue the birthing process. That is the most rank. I gotta go wash my hands after this. I was touching the keyboard as it happened. I'm surely as much a part of this as they are. Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolve, and yes, that cute little face right there peeking over the rock is me. God, I must look, look I must look so blindingly white when it's this bright, but the play is that a mod has had a huge update, which is very exciting. New creatures added, new breeding abilities added for said creatures. It's just I guess the most important would be the Hyenodon, but this is just such an awesome thing right here. I love when you're able to play as creatures that you can't typically ride in the game, because then it makes it feel much more legit that I'm not just an invisible player becoming the creature I actually get to play as this beast and even better yet I'm a female meaning I have female genitalia including a uterus able to develop life inside of therefore I'm able to breed and reproduce which is awesome because honestly you get pretty tired of just playing as the creatures unless you're able to continue somewhat of their natural life cycle that's when shit gets really entertaining all right so first things first in order to make a nest and have babies we need at least six of that and 20 of that you eat you insects just threw my mind off like crazy i just watched starship troopers last night anything that sounds like a giant insect is gonna give me at least a little bit of ptsd it's gonna happen all right on the downside i've yet to find hyena poontang or i guess sausage i'm the poon on this um on this biome i think i've also kind of isolated myself on this little island of death right here that I don't, I'm not really a, a, a even medium, I guess a medium sized carnivore. That's what I'd consider myself around here. But you don't want to be such things. You want to be a large one. Top of the food chain, you know? It's like if you're just a wild dog, you're essentially there to just entertain the local wolf population. Or if you're a coyote, you're there to entertain the local wild dog population. Basically, I'm on top of the food chain right now and it's going to end in demise. <laughs> I do love our little freaking hyena noises, though. That's so adorable. It's way cuter when we're the ones making the noise. Well, it just sounds like I'm asking for food. That's exactly what that sounds like. <laughs> now, I know this is probably weird that I'm not streaming this right now, because I always stream these videos as, like, a good, all, like, a, a, just an easy arc video to hop in and stream with you guys. But the servers aren't up right now, man. I think this, I think this update's way too brand spanking new. Besides, little variety's nice. Oh, what's going on, handsome? Or food, I should say. Did we get any? Oh, look at that. We actually barely got any off that fool. This is going to be slightly complicated. It's the freaking chitin that makes it so complicated, though, because you have to kill well-armored or shelled creatures. And I'm just I'm just a freaking hyena, man. I, I, my main advantage, I feel like, is stealing the young of, of other predators. <laughs> There's human babies. Yeah, a human baby would be awesome right now, but I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. Holy crap balls, is that ever going to be a thing? That just blew my mind right there. Because if you have all these mods that enables everything to be you play as them, you can breed as them. Why isn't there a mod where and where people are able to breed? Like different players if they're opposite genders? Or shit, 2017, you could be, what is it, like 60 genders now? You could be Apache helicopters for all I care. But basically, we should be able to reproduce. And then you just have like a little NPC baby, which I guess just grows up to be an adult. And then it's an NPC soldier that follows you around and everything. Yo, that mod would be mind blowing right there. That's such an insane take on Ark. I need to get to the mainland. Because no nothing around here is, I guess, you. Can I eat you, Galley? I know in, in this game, I might be able to eat you. In real life, you would just beat the crap out of me for such things. Woohoo! Yes, Ark and your weird instability between characters, between creatures. Yeah, Galley would just, like, freaking mule kick the shit out of me. But right here, we have rights. <laughs> hey, but seriously, let me know down below if you guys, like, like, let me know in the comment section if you guys agree with me on that human baby mod, because that would be insane, dude. It would, it would give a whole nother outtake on the whole game, which honestly would make sense, too, and then... The long, like everyone in your tribe, you have like six, seven people in your tribe. Every one of them has a kid. Then eventually, like, or like three, four, five, I don't know how many, however many kids you're able to do. There's, each person should have a limit though. Maybe like 10 kids. Didn't the, the Octomom had like 12, didn't, didn't she? I think they just called her the Octomom because they couldn't figure out a better name. I don't know how many kids she had though, to be honest. I never watched a single episode of that crazy weird shit. I can't stand kids. Who would watch a show with like 10 of them? But anyways, I'm trying to just figure out what kind of limitations we should put on the in-game uteruses before they, you know, they kill over. You know, you can only spit out so many. But, um, I think that would be insane. I think that would be awesome. Also, if there was some sort of age process in the game where every, like, cycle or whatever, it counts as a day. 
after a couple months of playing your characters like legit in their 60s and their stats start to slow down also their genitalia or uterus is dry up a bit when, when would menopause hit the character i think this whole realism aspect would be so insane dude we are just a little bush creature that's about as far as our life's gonna take us right now this is this is a little scary survival if, if i do say so myself i feel like we just shouldn't and most things just wouldn't even care about us though for the most part so, dude we are a scavenger right now this is like a tough survival mission all right, luckily we are pretty high level high ended on those, so we should be able to do some damage. And there's a lot of base level or very low level creatures spawning around here. We have enough hide for our nest, correcto? No, we do need to kill more creatures for that too. It's before I, you guys are awesome. If I can just find non-stop amounts of you, you're perfect for this process. Now we have enough hide. All right, now we're gonna go after this turtle right now. We are going to pounce. Is that Rex coming after us? He is 1000% coming after us. Damn it. Is this like, how easily will he be able to target other creatures? Or is he just, okay, good, he's on the turtle. Ooh, I should swoop in and try and eat some of that corpse. No, nah, it's too risky. We have to focus on survival, you know? Like, acts like we're actually the creature, and our goal would be, don't you even try it, homie! Don't even try it, freaking Pegos, man. <laughs> Nature's criminals. Oh, this is like pristine freaking landscape right here. This is as good as real estate gets. There's gotta be food around here. I see a scarce amount of carnivores. Terror birds. Those birds are straight up terrifying. And you always gotta remember where I am in the food chain. Ooh, a food chain mod would be awesome too. Oh my God, I'm thinking there's so many good ideas right now. You know what I mean? Where every creature is just slightly programmed to hunt things in their food chain instead of just rapidly attacking everything around. Oh, I could not have managed that better. That was, that was some sexy jumpage right there. I think I'm going to maintain this area though, this wide open area, it's got like its own water supply so it counts as somewhat not center island, you know what I mean? It's not just spawning a bunch of large carnivores. Alright turtle, it's going down. Oh my god. God, I wish we were able to control a bunch of these. Like there should be some sort of way, much like wolves, that gives us the ability to summon a bit of a pack to come and have our back, you know? That's really all we'd be able to do too. Two, you sting. I guess we only need four, but still, man, that's there's some minimal resource gathering right now. I suppose as humans, we would be using tools to extract whichever resource we need most, and then a hyena can really just grab on and tear at it. You know what I mean? So the resource gathering would not be as efficient. This is more realistic this way. <laughs> Did I already mention why I'm not streaming? I feel like I did, but my, it's so early for me. My memory is such poo. I don't remember shit. Um, I was going to say, though, I was supposed to enable donations today for the stream, and then I didn't realize the servers weren't going to be up, which kind of pooped on everything. But it's, I don't know, because I, 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 there's this dog shelter. I, I, I'll link it once I do start donations. Bulgaria dog shelters or dog and cat shelters, something like that. And they are just always suffering, man. And I donate to them every month, but I feel like it'd be cool to give everyone a chance to even chip in like a dollar or two, and then we could just like surprise them with like a thousand bucks or something. Like, I'll start out and um, give. That was supposed to say like I'll start out, but the burp just took over that like and made it its own word. Yeah, we can make a nest. Um, I, if, if, if I do that, when I do that, I'll initiate by dropping 250 bucks. So my goal would just be between all 500,000 of you know but like there's no way even one tenth of unless you're like Septicai or Markiplier or stuff like that only about one tenth of your subscribers if you're lucky will receive notifications for your videos so even if one tenth or one fifth of you guys that show up for one tenth I'll just kick in like a dollar then we'll be able to seriously stock that place with dog food for at least like four or five months which would just be super cool all right, we've done it, but I'll let you guys know when I do that. It's, I'm just so shitty at like organizing new things on my channel. It's so hard to balance everything out. I have a whiteboard with like 30 things I have to check off each day. And even though I fail, I get like only 20 of them done. I think, I think I started throwing gym back up there. It was becoming like too weak. I was a weenie. Okay, well, I kind of screwed the pooch on this one. Are we cool now? Okay, we're cool. I found a couple of hyenas, but this one was super, I don't know. I accidentally attacked it and it was just going crazy. But of course, as gals, I wanted to see, I mean, as gals, we have used to each other. I wanted to see if there was some way to do our little thing. We should be able to just sort of unite into a pack. You know what I'm saying? And make it so much cooler. I don't know if that obviously would be harder to do though. Wolf pack, hyena pack. No, no, no. I saw Lion King. These fools stick together. It is possible. It definitely is. Where'd that female go? Or the male go? Which is weird, because I would expect the female to, um, to have the darker colors. You know what I mean? 
This is our man. God, I wish that I wish it was just an option to where you could also be the male and breed so I didn't have to be the damn woman every time. I I understand. I'm not against women. It's just a man can only make so many references about being pregnant and getting knocked up by other dudes before it starts to get weird. My first like two play as dino streams, everyone thought I was gay for like a month, which I don't really care about, you know? I don't really care what you guys think about me sexually because I'm doing my own thing anyways, but everyone thought I was gay just because it was like, ooh, we gotta find me some, some man penis. Like it was, it was just, it was too much, man. A little diversity would be nice, that's all I'm saying. I don't mind being the chick every time, but for the love of God. Can once I be the person not getting pregnant? It's, it's, I guess it's all just part of the perpetuation that males can't really be raped by females. You're walking around as a dude, then you can't just be going around just like cornering people and impregnating them. That's just illegal. But at the same time, I don't know where I'm going with this. I guess it's just because how the hell else would you be able to control the child? You gotta be the female. It's the only logical choice. It's just man. It's a lot of weird jokes. Okay, so I'm trying to find a cool place to gestate. So we're going to spit out this little turd. I've actually yet to see a baby hyena dot. I never bred them when they were brought into Ark. I don't even know what these little bastards look like. It's got to be somewhere with easy targets because we're going to have to feed these little nincompoops. How much food do I even have? It's a lot of food, but they're still going to need to hunt and feast. I will say this. The cool thing about being the woman every time is there's absolutely no question who the father is. Do they become, this just tripped me out because I was like, I just found this hyena and I was like, is this the one that's, because when I got on earlier, I tried it out and I was trying out the animals and I was like, oh man, you can play as a hyena down, that's crazy, I gotta record this. And um, I saw there was one more that I abandoned, but this is right where we were. Is this a thing now? When you breed with them, because I know you can still whistle as creatures, when you breed with them, do they get tamed by you now? That's such a freaking epic update right there. Is that a thing? Cause we just, this is exactly where I was just knocked up, correct though? I ran around that mountain and then back, I ran up through there and then back through there. So he has, is that a thing now? That is, that is so freaking cool. Now when you're impregnated by somebody, they're like a member of your family. You're in it to win it at that point. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so, so perplexed. This mod really updated in an awesome way. All right, st stick with me. Oh my God, where did he go? There he is, okay, <laughs> sheesh, sheesh. We have a defender now, dude. We have a meat shield. It's called Father. The patriarch of the family. You are weak as hell, though. Level 7. Mother would never approve. Also, he's crazy. What are you doing, you, you psycho? Stop attacking everything. I'm not going to be able to pack you up in this. Dude, what the? What are you doing? You're putting your family in danger with your drunken bar fighting. I'm trying to get out of here. I'm not even trying to stick around in this fight. Oh, my God. Well, it's such a special update right there. We can't... We can't. Well, that dumb bastard had it coming. Funny enough, that reminds me a lot of my father. Never really knew him, but my mom says he was a lot similar. He even got kicked out of the Navy, apparently, because some dude in charge, some captain, commander, I don't know what the hell, was yelling at him, and he punched him in the face, which I understand. If someone was screaming in my face, I'd probably hit him too. But you can't do that in the military, you dumb bastard. That's... that's it's like one of two stories I have. Okay, so I think it's just going to be right here. I mean, this is like perfect. Do you even see a carnivore as far as the eye can see? No, just this guy or this gal. Where shall I spit out this little monster? I don't really get what the point of the nest is. How can we have to make a, me a nest if we're gestating? What is that? Consume this to make a nest. Drop fertilized eggs in the nest to keep them warm and baby will automatically imprint your smell. That's awesome. It just imprints based off your smell. I never put that together. One nest can contain three eggs, all right? But what if they're just, just little like droplings, you know, where they just kind of plop out of there? They don't really plop out of nothing. I've seen the birth process before. My aunt or my uncle made me watch, uh, made us all watch my aunt giving birth to my cousin when I was like 12 and I will never forget the sight of that. All right, well, I'll put it down right here. Seems like a good place to nest the poo. I don't understand why we would possibly need a nest, but I'm not one to question the way of the world. Dude, I love this. I was so excited for this. I think this is like one of the ones I, I requested. I almost think the, mo the mod dev did this for me because last time I was like, I think I literally, no wait, I definitely did because I was super excited about the Hyenodon. I just second guessed myself because I didn't think he would just because of me. It might just be an entire coincidence, but either way, this was the one I was waiting for. This is, because you're, you're essentially a dog-like creature, but not the wolf. You're not a dog-like creature that could be ridden by players, making you feel like much more of a, a dog-like creature. What do you guys think would be an awesome one for the next one now? 
Oh my god, this mod's so great. So you guys should all go and give it a download just for the way he or she have never spoken to the dev personally before, just on the Discord. But just for the way they cater to the community. Even with Ark Primal Survival on the verge where it's like legit people are going to be able to do just this stuff. He doesn't even care. Or she. Just keeps updating. If this was a birthing bra- Oh my god, look at the little poo just fall out of there. He just plopped right out and fell right over. That's hysterical. Oh, eat quick little fella. Oh my god, he's adorable. Are you serious? That's what they look like? That he's growing fast as hell. What is happening here? Yo, my child just grew up so fast. What the fuck is going on here? Oh my god, dude, our child just grew up instantly and then and then we in, were impregnated by it. Oh. What the what's I uh, what's that's okay well, on one note super cool update kid grows up way quicker now You no longer have to wait like hours for the little punk to grow up Weird part is it grows up within like 10 seconds So you're standing like right next to the little dude as soon as he's an adult and you don't even say hello You don't even name him. You don't even let him get to level 2 You just pounce right on top of him and continue the birthing process. That is the most rank that I gotta go wash my hands after this I was touching the keyboard as it happened. I'm surely as much a part of this as they are so this, there's a bunch of updates I'm taking in right now. This this mod just changed like crazy, and I love it. But at the same time, why did we just have to do that? This little monster must be killed. I have to, like, b give birth to this thing over a volcano right now. This is, <laughs> this is, this is the Antichrist in my, in my uterus right now. See? The sentence is like that. That's why I wouldn't mind being a male occasionally. I'm gonna catch the little monster now in slow motion this time, so I can really see the little... Obama, look at this, little, this is disgusting, it just falls right out of there. It's all cute and everything, but dude, that little thing, it's gonna grow up lightning fast as well. I mean, even in slow motion, look how fast it's growing. Oh my god. He grows even when everything's frozen over, man. This thing is just crazy. Like instantly being impregnated by us as well. What is happening here? I mean, you grew a giant army. That part's pretty cool how quick you grow an army. But at the same time, look, I just froze everything. It's just freezing everything. It didn't even stop the process. It just continued it. I don't know how many times I'm gonna watch this before I just stop with disgust. The little monsters just keep coming out of there and you literally, as soon as the kid hits, you gotta sprint away. Otherwise, you just laid another abomination. Look how fast it grows. I'm not even feeding it. It's just doing it on its own. What the hell's going on here? Nuts, okay, there we go. We're baby feeded. Baby feeded? <laughs> Is it baby fed? I'm confused. This has me doubting everything I know as a human. You're an adolescent now, you little monster. They grow super fast. There's something in the inbreeding that just makes them grow insanely fast. I guess that's honestly, though. Hang on, I gotta disable a lot of stuff. I mean, I guess honestly, it's not that unrealistic. Like, they, this would be a thing, I feel like. Creatures don't really care if they... I mean, I don't, which, a lot, yeah, that's, that's exactly how we have, like, purebreds, isn't it? Like, dinosaurs inbreeding, like, I mean, dinosaurs, I mean, dogs in, <laughs> dogs inbreeding, like, madmen, so it's pretty much, it's a natural part of the whole thing. It's just disgusting to see it happen within seconds. Like, they just, we're like some creep who just waits for the second their ID hits 18 for it to go down. And now I have my sons, and this guy, his son, or his, his brother, uncle, and then this, <laughs> this. He'll be called Uncle Brother, and I'll be called Auntie Girlfriend, or Mother Girl. It's like, oh my god, how do we break? What, what is this? Like, the Deep South, for the love of god, how do we? How do we break apart from this? I could say that. My dad's from Tennessee. That enables me to make fun of certain regions in a joking manner. Same way how people of certain races get the pass on making jokes about those races, you know? You want to see my ID? Well, shit, son, there's a lot of crazy updates going on. This mod just got kind of loco. I mean, pretty awesome, though. A lot more realistic and a lot more exciting and fun to play with. The fact that we are able to, like, just, we just give birth so fast. The kids grow up so fast, you don't have to stick around and raise them forever. You grow giant packs of your own creatures quickly, and even upon breeding, the dude, the, the dude gets tamed. So you're, like, literally increasing the size of your family and pack nonstop. But yeah, let me know down below if I should kind of pursue that one baby NPC mod where humans would be able to breed too, because that's like some whole nother next level stuff right there. Straight up mind-boggling. So yeah, let me know down below, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Yeah.